Hey guys, this is Mr. Calypso, and uh, in the last video, I showed you guys the Badger Mole. Um, and since then, I've been getting a whole lot of questions on how I got it to work and how the turret is made. So, this is a version of the Badger Mole that I spawned into my survival world, and as you can see, the turret is not currently on the, uh, the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the uh, turret for you guys and show you how I build it and set it up and all that. So the main things you're going to need, and I'm pretty sure that whenever you start to build the vehicle in survival mode normally, uh, you would at least already have the advanced rotor set on top of this cargo container right here. But I don't currently have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one of those. The next thing you're going to need is one of these large conveyors. Now you got to make sure that the conveyor is in this configuration with one of the large ports facing against the uh, advanced rotor and the small ports uh, facing forward and backward. Almost messed up there actually. <laughs> next you're going to need two more advanced rotors, one on either side, or if you're only going for a single turret version, you only, you know, you only need one on one side. Next, you're gonna need. Is, next thing you're gonna need is a connector. Well, two connectors. You're gonna stick one on this side and one on this side, and these will basically allow you to pipe up all the ore and whatnot a lot easier and a lot more efficiently. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need is the pistons. Uh, I believe on the base version of the Badger Mole there are only two yeah, pistons. Yeah. I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel here in a moment and probably fall, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, next thing you're going to need is drills. Make sure the drills are facing vertically because if they're not, they'll end up doing weirdly. You just sit them babies on there like that. Uh, next, in order to actually get this to work, because uh, the turret script does not detect um, things on subgrids, for example these drills, since they're on top of a piston, the turret script does not detect them as actually being part of the vehicle. So what you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to take something like a spotlight, a camera will also work, something like that, at least uh, this is what it says in the script. Uh, you're going to need to take something like that and stick it onto the connectors on the ends of the rotors. Basically like that. And uh, this is pretty much set up. All you're gonna need to do now is use a little bit of or get into the vehicle. We go into third person mode here. Uh, you go into the menus of the vehicle, find the advanced drawer that is connected to the vehicle on the base, which would be this one here. Uh, name it or add azimuth into the rotor's name. Find the other two rotors and call them elevation each one. Both of these have to be elevation rotors. Uh, select all of those, select the cockpit that you're in, and uh, find the two spotlights. And you're going to name those M-A-R-T-1. No spaces or anything, at least I don't really know if that matters, but I don't ever put spaces. And there you go. And uh, with that, I seem to have screwed up. What have I done wrong? Oh, no, no, there we go. Yeah, it took it a second. Make sure you have the script loaded, by the way. If you do not have a Whips turret script loaded, it will not work. If you press C, while well, it's like this, the spotlights will come on. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get the spotlights to come on like, um, and stay on, but I don't really know what that is. Uh, I haven't really filled around with it much. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, you have your drills working. And a lot of people were wondering if I had modded drills, like a modded drill radius. I did not. The reason why the drill radius was so large is because I was using the right click function of the drills, which does not collect any ore, but, you know, basically just moves it out of the way. It's really good for clearing stone and digging tunnels and stuff when you don't want to weigh down your craft. Um, I can't think of any more questions. Uh, let's see here. Uh, um, whenever you're working with the pistons, you know, you can just group them together in a uh, in a group and uh, make sure you find the right ones they're always the ones that are colored weirdly I'm going to call them arm pistons and that way you can set it onto your thingy here and you know that'll adjust them forward and back now 
I've been experimenting recently with Marm OS, which is another script that allows you to control rotors and pistons and whatnot. Uh, I have another vehicle actually back there inside of my uh, mining bay that actually uses Marm OS to control the pistons. Now, I might as well show it to you guys. Um, as you can see, it is very similar in uh, style to the Badger Mall, only it's not as, uh, really it isn't as versatile as this vehicle is a lot larger, but it does have some cool features. As you can see, I've got the status LCD script right there, but if you'll notice, I'm able to control the, the piston with much more, um, well, control, I guess, I don't really know the word, but, um, you know, I'm still using Whip's turret scripts to control this. I'm still able to move the turret with my mouse, as you can see. Uh, but I'm able to control the pistons with W and S, which is an incredibly useful thing to do, basically. Uh, but anyway, uh, my job here was to show you how to build the Badger Mole turrets, as I know a lot of people were having trouble. And uh, I actually saw a post on Reddit today, which is the reason why I did this. But, uh, yeah. Um, thanks you guys for watching, leave a like if you liked the video, and I will uh, come back next time if anybody else has any questions, so see you guys then.